I may have just bought the biggest shit box that you could imagine. This thing, look at it, destroyed. So most of the major stuff's in pretty good condition, like the engine, the transmission, rear end, it shifts smoothly, it does as it should. Um, it's got a, it's got a bad idle, not making proper voltage. There's a lot of weird squeaks. There's definitely an exhaust leak that I'm praying is an exhaust leak and not lifter tick. But uh, I'm about to take her to the shop right now. I got Alec following me in the van because I don't have a tag on here. So wish me luck. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of cheese and third. Your hand hits here when you shift. Let's see what it's got. It's in the shop. We got a heater. My boy Alec in the back, he right there. So we're about to start digging into this thing, just familiarizing ourselves with it. It's a total hunk of junk and we're gonna start uh, we're gonna start seeing what we got out of it. So I think the first thing is let's drop the top. Hmm. Nick is not convertible man. I mean, honestly, it's probably shot. It's probably way. dead. Well, you gotta turn the car on first. Yeah, there you go, dumbass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Motor works? Yeah. That's a fucking I did not think to test that, so that's hype. Whoa. That boy gonna need some WD-40. Yeah, there you go. All right, well that is very sound and secure. Damn, bro, we might have to bump this. <laughs> <laughs> Show it to the camera, bro. What is it? We we got that. We got that nice et biet signed, beautiful. Yeah. Whoa, bro. The rear, the receipt not bolted in at all. No, no, no. Flip, flip that open right there. This? Oh, oh. <laughs> <Boys> got... <laughs> so we gotta check out for some rust once we get this thing up on the lift. Yeah, that's a nice little puddle right there. We got some oh man bro, they these boys were bumping at some point, bro. This is definitely for a sub. I'm kinda hurt it's not in here. Does this mount in stock location? Ooh. Looks a little mangled. This is honestly kind of stupid looking. I mean, if it fit better, yeah, but. Oh no. Yeah, that, that's, oh, no. I was thinking that might look hard, bro. That is stupid. So as you can see, these fenders have definitely been repainted and this is the original door. This is coming off for sure, as well as all the Celine stuff. Yeah, it has a Coney sticker on it. So it's definitely got some Coney struts. I absolutely love this fender that's molded into the side skirt though. That's kind of hard except for the absolutely, how is it molded into all three of these pieces? No, but you gotta show them the underneath right there. Yeah, 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 boom. Bro, we gotta take those off and see what's popping. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of like that sound. Doesn't sound too bad. So it has a problem at idle and I believe it may have to do with the duct tape job that was done here. But I think that the most important thing for us to do first is to do a real thorough detail on this and just clean everything up and kind of understand what the problem areas are, find where any leaks are coming from or anything. Chucky, 
So as of right now, we got the engine bay ready to be washed. We took the hood off of it. We covered up all of the main electrical components. I didn't cover up too much because I really want to make sure to be thorough and just do a real, real good cleaning this one time. There's definitely some things that might get wet, but I'll take my chance on it. We're going to be using a pressure washer, not recommended on a car this old or really on any car in general. But if you want to get things extremely clean in a relatively reasonable amount of time, it's the only way to go. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to spray the greaser over the whole engine bay, let it soak for a second, do a thorough pressure wash, and then we're just going to go in section by section and clean until everything is, is pretty much at our standards. We're mostly going to be using Simple Green and Formula 488 and a bucket full of different size brushes and stuff. I'm a mobile detailer, so I have a lot of these. And let's get to it.